Hello guys, welcome back to another Android Firebase tutorial. In this episode, we are going to learn about how to receive Firebase data messages if your application in the background. Create a new Android Studio project. So first here I am going to add Firebase to this Android application. So open your Android manifest file. Copy your application package name. Now go to Firebase console. I already have a project here, so there is no need to create a new project. Select that existing project. Now select this option Add Firebase to your Android app. Specify your application package name. Now click add app. Now here we got the JSON configuration file. Copy the configuration file. Now go to Android Studio. Change project view into project. Now put the JSON configuration file within the app folder. Ok now here the configuration file available on the app folder. Now change the project view into Android. Now again go to Firebase console. Now click continue. Now copy this line. Now open your Grady scripts and open project level Grady script file. Add that line to the dependencies section. Now made a project sync. And now the project sync finishes successfully. Now again go to Firebase console. Copy this line. Now open module level Gradle script file. Add that line to the bottom of this file. Now we need to add the needed dependency for using Firebase cloud messaging. Search Firebase available libraries. Here we need Firebase messaging. So we have to copy this line. Now go to the module level Gradle script file. Now here you can add the dependency. Now sync the project again. Ok now the project sync finishes. For receiving Firebase data messages on a particular device, we need to get the Firebase registration token. For that we have to create a new service. So here create a new Java class. I name it as my Firebase instance ID service. And this class extends Firebase instance ID service. Now you need to register this class inside the manifest file. So go to manifest. Here you need to add a new service. Specify the 
Android name as my Firebase Instance ID service. Now specify an intent filter. Now specify an action. Now specify action into instance ID event. Copy this line. Now we need to get the most recent Firebase registration token. For that, go to Firebase Instance ID service. Here we need to override a method called on token refresh so each time when a new token is generated this method will invoke so here we need to get the token firebase instance id service instance id dot get instance and call the method called get token. Now we have to copy that registration token for that. I'm going to print this one on the locket window. Specify the identifier as token. Now specify the variable token. If your application in the background, the Firebase notification will received on the device notification console. And if the user click the notification, the data messages are passed to the intent of the launcher activity. So go to main activity. Here we need to add some UI part. Here add a text view for display the message title. Specify width into match parent, height into wrap content. Specify ID as text title. Here I add two text view. First text view for display the message title with ID text title and second text view for display the message with ID text message. Now open main activity.java. First declare some text view variable title and message. Now initialize these variables, typecast that one into text view, now find it, text title, now the second variable message. this one into text to message so if your application in the background the data are available on the intent of the launcher activity so here main activity is the launcher activity so we have to check some condition here if get intent dot get extras not equal to null that means there is some messages available on the indent there is some data available on the indent object so here we need to get the data for it start a for each loop get indent get extras key set 
here check some condition if key dot equals title if that is the title in that case we have to set the data on the text view so title dot set to text get intent get extras get string and pass the key otherwise key equals message in that case we have to set the message on the text view get indent get extras get string and pass the key now one more thing don't forget to add the internet permission go to android manifest.xml and add the internet permission now the application is ready now we can test it and the application select a virtual device now the application available on this virtual device now we need to get the FCM registration token from the locat window go to locat window and here type token and here is the registration token you need to copy this registration token to firebase console Now go to notifications so before going to send the message make sure that the application in the background now here the application in the background now here send a new message specify a message text Now here select single devices and here you need to provide the registration token. Now select the advanced options. Select a title for the FCM notification. Now here we need to provide the title and message. Now here add the message. Greetings from Prabish. Now we can send the message. Send it now. Okay. Now here the notification arrived on this virtual device. here is the notification here is the notification title and message so now I am going to click the notification it will open the launcher activity and here is the notification title and here is the message this is how we send data messages when your application in the background I hope you understand the concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode